In the Kingdom of Ice, the grand and terrible polar voyage of the USS Jeanette by Hampton Sides is a non-fiction book that follows the true story of the DeLong expedition to the North Pole. The crew of the famous USS Jeanette wanted to be the first people to set foot on the as yet unexplored North Pole, but soon found themselves trapped in 15-foot thick sheets of ice. Hopelessly stuck with no ability to turn back, the crew abandoned the boat and had to walk and dogsled more than 1,000 miles to the mainland of Siberia or give up their lives entirely to the frozen, desolate north. The story begins with the appeal of the North Pole worldwide, people wanted to see what this uncharted region had to offer. So little was known about the Arctic region around 1880 when the DeLong expedition set off from San Francisco Bay. The book reads like a catalogue of the prominent men who prompted and manned the expedition, ending with the horrific account of what the men endured after the boat was breached in ice. August Peterman, a noted cartographer, was the main instigator of the mission to the North Pole. One of a number of experts on the Arctic, Peterman believed the currents created a kind of tropic ocean around the North Pole and that beyond the ice packs of the Arctic region was a beautiful island which any powerful nation would want to claim as its own. Peterman called this region the open polar ocean, insisting that ice would not bar the way for explorers looking to reach the pole. The mission was funded by the millionaire James Bennett, the owner of the New York Herald, and a man known for an appreciation of exploration, adventure, and the desire for a new scoop. Bennett had funded the rescue mission of Dr. Livingston, who had been abandoned in Africa, so his reporter Sir Henry Stanley could write about it for the Herald. Interested in North Pole exploration as an intellectual, Bennett wanted the Herald to have the first big news story about what lived in the far north of the globe. Agreeing to fund an entire journey to the North Pole, Bennett recruited Peterman to supply the maps and charts necessary for the crew to get there. George DeLong, a Navy lieutenant, was eventually selected to captain the USS Jeanette. He was known as a lover of the North after he received a claim for saving ship trapped in ice off the coast of Greenland. DeLong found a crew of 32 men and set off in 1880 for the North Pole. The ship sailed into the uncharted seas of the North, but before long, DeLong and his crew discovered that Peterman and other experts knew nothing about what really lay in the open polar ocean. They soon hit thick ice, sometimes as thick as 15 feet. Two years into their voyage, the hull of the boat was breached by a particularly thick chunk of ice and the wear and tear of the journey. Water flooded into the boat, and the men were forced to evacuate with whatever they could carry with them. Lost and alone, the men could see nothing but ice all around them. They had minimal supplies and nowhere to turn. DeLong eventually led the men on their harrowing, 1,000-mile walk through ice storms and frigid temperatures in the hopes of eventually reaching mainland Siberia. The men fought against starvation, snow blindness, madness, and hopelessness as they walked. Only 14 of the men survived 11 died in a sailing boat after the ship sank, and 9 more died, including Captain DeLong, in the Lena Delta. Hampton Sides is a historian, journalist, and author known for writing narrative non-fiction about American history, and particularly the history of land exploration and war. His books include Ghost Soldiers, Blood and Thunder, Hellhound on His Trail, In the Kingdom of Ice, and On Desperate Ground. He is a member of the Society of American Historians and has guest lectured at Columbia, Yale, Stanford, and many other institutions. He lives in New Mexico with his wife, a former NPR producer and journalist. I hope you enjoy this video leave a like, if you didn't be sure to subscribe for more lore thank you all so much for your support.